on this channel we only give you updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone Yes, um, welcome back, guys, to another segment. It's not the one normally doing. I'm always just to give guys updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. All right, guys, welcome back to another segment. It's not the one normally doing. I'm always just to give guys updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. Yes, Mauricio Pochettino did his press conference some hours ago. He said a lot of things, but before I go into what Pochettino said and also what is going on in the camp, first of all. I want to say a big congratulations to our London rival team, Arsenal, in the Champions League draw. I'm congratulating them in advance. That's all. Any I beat them, you see our brothers, they go represent us for London. So, may them try. Congratulations to Arsenal in the Champions League draw. Let's see how far they can go in the Champions League. Even though we no go, but may them go, may them go winner. Come back. You know, so they always talk say Chelsea don't no qualify for Champions League. But one thing with Chelsea, no matter how bad Chelsea did, when Chelsea qualified, they, they go very far. So may them go, may them win, may them come back. You grab? Yes, moving over to what is happening in Chelsea. Yes, Ben Chiwe and Badishio is back. The both of them are back. Are they very, very happy? Say those players they don't come back initially. When I mean, they talk about Chiwe with the way we with the year talk about this injury, we've been teasing as long as we could take longer time. But after the assessment and everything, he's back to his feet and his training. And hopefully, hopefully, if, if he play against Leicester this Sunday. But when I talked about this, when I dropped the post about Ben Chiwe being back, some people were not even happy. I like people does they just say, Oh, mom, Mr. Peter, as for Chiwe, anything we want to make do. Some people don't even give up. Some people don't even say, I bet me they even sell her. You grab, but she will still remain our vice captain and he will remain our vice captain. So let's just give him that space. At least he don't come back. That be the most important thing. And also, but the shield too, don't come back. And Kukurela is back to his feet too. So it's a good news for us. Initially, some weeks ago, that particular position was something else. So something else. The only player where he they pay me say he never come back now. Levi Kobe, Levi Kobe never come back. So we see they watch how the injury level for Levi Kobe they go. But you show me say maybe after the international break we feel they hear good news about Levi Kobe. But for now, with the injury list we get there on top of our table, they hear say it see they under rehabilitation. You grab, you see they under re rehabilitation. The same thing goes for Lavia, Unkunku, and all the rest. All of them they under rehabilitation. Apart from Chiwe and Badishi, where they train, a couple with this guy too, Chukwe Maker. So all those ones they don't come back. But I just pray say once this season end, next season, before next season go start, all these players over they are, they don't go injury, this one, that one. I just hope say they will come back on time. Lots of say they will come back on time. Then talking about the press conference, Pochino just said one or two things. Already he already acknowledged the fact that Ben Chiwe if he play against Leicester this Sunday. That one is true. Then also Enzo Fernandez has been suspended. He's not going to play on Sunday match. Now people don't they raise eyebrows. They say we we'll go pair with uh, this guy Moses Casado. That one no be problem. We we'll go pair with Moses Casado. No be problem. It's very simple. Drop. Galaga back to work with Moses Casado, play Palma as a 10. Then you play me Mudrik and this person. What was his name? Mudrik and Madrike. Though I know say Madrike nowhere, but the level at which telling they play, I'm not happy with his his, his pattern of play. Maybe may I just for benefit of that, leave Sterling there. He grabbed the still play Jackson as the number nine. We're not getting any number nine, so we must play him as the number nine. Except Pochettino want to do otherwise, or he want to try something new. Else, this guy, David Washington, that guy to no bad, that young, talented striker, no bad. You know, bad. You can still try it. You can still give him a try on the pitch. But anyhow, more just a watch, and the coach will decide who will go play or who will go play. But the news is that Enzo won't be playing against Leicester on Sunday. And and Let's see how Pochettino will cope with that. Normally, it always stick with in normal formation and uh, this thing, midfield, which is Enzo, Galaga, and Moses Casado. Now, one is suspended and is not going to play. Let's see how he's going to gamble with that midfield. Let's see how it will work for him. And it's a good, very good one for Enzo. Just like what you have been always saying, we need Enzo to rest too. He don't try. From day one, he has been hitting the ground running. 
to the point he hit the ground, so they even drop form. So he need to rest. He's, he's a good one. After this one night, they go international break. They travel, go meet Argentina team. So after the international break, well, they talk about Burnley match, which is after this week where well, they enter and then the following week that is on the 30th. So Enzo not playing. What's your thoughts about that? Do you think it will have any effect on the game, or do you think it won't have any effect on the game against Leicester? And also, we told him we've been the year from this guy. What's his name? Get one post I've been mean, see about wherever they talk something. Say they go play Chelsea like their normal league match where they always play when they're in the Premier League. Say nothing different, you understand? Unlike team like Leicester, now when Chelsea na Chelsea, Leicester you get any player will come and they talk in here for your chess today. Now, because they know say so we know when I make everybody when they want to play chess, we go see one player or the coach or one person from that opposition team where they talk any about the team because they know say so the team nowhere and we know they're in a very good stand. Then he also said that it won't be bad if Chelsea come back to Wembley again to play another final, but this time in a different state, not the state that they they we are in the Carabao Cup final. Well, Muko first cross quarter final first before we talk about final. You grab Muko first cross the quarter final. Muko first final away. We enter semi final. Then we we'll go know whether we we'll go go the final or not. But going to the final, we need to face Leicester first. Let's clear Leicester book. Let's know if we are going to win Leicester or not. Everything there for our table. If we we'll go win, if we we'll not go win, there for our hand. But I know that that Leicester game is not going to be easy. I know that some of us are having this impression that uh, it's a walkover game for Chelsea. Baba, it's not walkover. It's not walkover. It's not going to be easy for Chelsea to beat Leicester. I'm just being realistic here. Those guys, they're on fire. I know we carry uh, Leicester. I know we carry Leeds compared with Leicester. Leicester are they different. Leicester are they on another tempo. You grab. They, they play like people say when they even the championship. They, they play like when they Premier League. Just the last season for them was a very bad one. It was a very terrible season for them. That made them end up going uh, relegation. So we playing them now. We, and then they top the championship uh, table. And we they play them for the uh, car, uh, this FA Cup quarter final. Don't expect an easy ride with Leicester. But we just hope for a good game against them on Sunday. Then talking about the transfer, I don't know if you guys have heard something about Chelsea will be doing a lot of sales this summer. Definitely, yes. If you hear something like that from any source or any angle, the information is yes, true. Chelsea will make a lot of sales this this summer transfer. Sales will make them generate revenue so that if you enter the transfer market, buy what they want. You grab? So, we could just watch how that one will go. But... As for the injury side, at least with the kind of players who will get on ground right now, you know me say we know go for go far. We still go far, both for the FA Cup and also for the League Cup and, f- and for the Premier League too. I mean, so it's just up to the coach to know how to run his selection and all the rest. Never can tell. Maybe ends are not even playing. Might be an opportunity for Cesare Casidai to come out and prove. Okay, Cesare Casidai know if he play. Ah, shit. No go feel play is true. He can't play the FA Cup. But it's not a bad one, Sha. We just hope for something different. I don't know if you guys noticed since um the uh, Jackson collected the ninth yellow card, remaining one card, remaining one yellow card to complete and ten, then he go get two match ban. But since then till now, Jackson never collected any card. And that's a very good one. At least you don't understand. Say, see your own fault. Yeah, see when they fuck up. Yeah. So I just believe. Say, you go learn from that. But if a good made them complete the card, may go on another. May go on two more suspensions so that if in they come back, you go no say, you go no a single guy position. You will try to avoid any unnecessary, unnecessary card from ref, whether for FA Cup or for uh, this in league. So that's a very good one. It's a welcome development. And also as for that, this upcoming game i will say pochettino should give mudrick a chance a space to try his luck see now two game um, last game we ain't play against we ain't coming against lucas you see the kind of momentum we ain't put in see the energy see the space see the speed everything we saw it there though he was not playing as a left winger he was playing the number 10 role as a as a number 10 never can tell too. if you see play galaga uh, this person galaga moses casado 
Mudrick, Sterling, Palmer, and Jackson. Never can tell. But the only issue, just like I, I'll keep saying it, the only problem I have with Sterling is that he's selfish. He doesn't work with the team. He doesn't understand that this thing is a teamwork. It's not a a, 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 a individual work. It's a teamwork. You have to work with them to get results. So I would say let them give let Pochettino give Mudrick a chance. And also I know say I need they like him well. I know they too like him football. Madweke. Maybe they give him space too. Maybe they just give him space. But definitely Madweke, that loan, that loan for you no know, go bad. Maybe they send their mouse on loan this summer. Going on loan this summer won't be a bad one for Madweke. It will help him, it will even know, improve him. So that when he's coming back, he will know that he's coming back to fight for his space. And when I talked about we need another player like Kopama, that is another Palma again in this team. Somebody mentioned Kenji Pierce. That Mr. Peter, don't worry. Somebody like Kenji Pierce is coming. And if you go watch that Kenji Pierce, a very fine player. So Kenji Pierce, come, though I know he's still day young, but very soon, very soon. Definitely, even before he go even play for Chelsea, definitely they go send them out on loan to watch and see what he go if you do out on, on loan. You grab. So we get so many good, good players. We go on this loan where they do well for loan. We then go. Or Mario Hutchinson is doing very, very well. So all those kind of players, them. That's why I told you that there will be a lot of sales this summer. And there will be one or two buy this summer too. You grab. All the same, um, Kopama remain our star boy. No day we they need to talk about that boy. No day. I guess uh, in the England team even call and save. Then call him. Then call him. Even Ben Chiwe we get injury, then call him. So Palmer, no, Palmer has done really, really well. He has done well. But make the hype you no know, enter in head. Make you no know, enter in head. Making those continue to be playing football. Make you no know, enter in head. But all the same, Palmer has done well. It's worth every penny we spent on him in Man City. So he has done very well. He has worked for that money. That is one thing you on one thing I want other player to to engulf, to, to learn from Palma is the ability to absorb pressure. In respect of the pressure that Chelsea is facing and the condition of the club, he tends to play his football and enjoy it and make sure he helps the team. That is what these players need to do. They should forget about the money that they are being bought for. Whether 100 million, 60, 80 million, they should learn how to enjoy their game. That is what I want from Mojik. Learn how to absorb the pressure and play your football. And you will see. Even say, if you get the way you go play football for chess, they go forget about the 80 million and any way they sign for your head. You grab. So, guys, that'll be all for now. Do it to like, share, subscribe. Don't fail. We'll try this evening to come on and do our live chats this evening by 9 p.m. Make sure you join us and come and talk your mind ahead of the game on Sunday. Thank you very much. Don't fail to like, share, subscribe. Follow this page because on this channel, I will give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. My name is Peters.